George Bernard Shaw once said, the only service a friend can really render is to keep up your courage by holding up to you a mirror in which you can see the noble image of yourself. Usually when we hear the word confrontation, we think of a conflict between ideas, thoughts, or beliefs. Perhaps we picture someone with boxing gloves preparing for a fight or an argument on the playground, or maybe the boardroom. Confrontation in coaching is quite different. It's about holding up a mirror of sorts to others so that they can come face to face with their abilities, their aspirations, their potential, thus enabling them to move beyond their self-imposed limitations. Confrontation is a gift in coaching. Here's the key. Great coaches confront people with their own beliefs, attitudes, and values, not those of the coach, nor anyone else for that matter. The difficult question that leaders need to ask themselves is this, am I confronting this person to further their interests or my own? While we often think of confrontation as providing negative feedback, confrontation is equally about challenging others with the good stuff. Great coaches spend much of the coaching time confronting others with their potential and then challenging them to live up to this potential. How often do you confront your team members with the good stuff? When is the last time that you held a mirror up to someone even if it was uncomfortable for you to do so? When you confront others, what is your usual intention? Here are three practical things you can do this week to improve your ability to constructively confront others. First, identify an important conversation that you have been avoiding and answer the following questions. How would having this conversation advance the cause of your work, your team members' work, or your relationships? What's the worst thing that could happen? Do you care enough about this person or the work to have this difficult conversation? And lastly, what's the best outcome you can imagine? Secondly, have the conversation with the intent of serving the other person in some significant way during the conversation. And third, resolve to make a habit of having at least one constructive confrontation every week. Constructive confrontation is at the core of great coaching. If you have the courage to have the conversations that others will not, this is the first step to becoming a great coach.